Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to record turning the gas logs off and then turning them back on and a couple of other items. One key thing is this little switch here. We always want to make sure it's in the off position because when it's off, then we control the flame with Ron's remote. So to turn this off, I go to the pilot knob here at the back and I turn it all the way to the right and I actually have to press it in to get to the final bit. So that'll turn the pilot light off. And as always, here's the gas knob, right is off. Um, so now we're gonna start the process of relighting it. So we'll turn the gas knob on. Then we kind of got a mess with the pilot light knob because we can't see it. So I, I press it in, I'll go all the way to the right and go back to the left about midway. It's black. Yep, it's black. And I'll, the key is you have to get it in a position to where when you press it in, you hear the gas. I think I'm too far to the right. I'll go back to the left to touch. Not there. Not there. Still don't hear it. There it is. Okay, so I turn it to the right. Now we can press the igniter button here to the left. Now I have to keep holding the knob in for about 10 to 15 seconds to heat up the thermocoupler. And now the pilot's on. And once it's on, I think we turn it um, all the way to the left. I'll double check here in a second that's the case but now that's on all the way to the left we can use our remote and I guess I would say if it if it doesn't light up we do the remote we have to come back further to the left yeah that's what it is and I think at the beginning the pilot light is real close when you barely turn it to the left but we just had to listen for the gas um, but now should work with our remote. That's it. Very good. Okay.